I've been looking at these fold out solar panels for quite some time and it just so happens that a friend of mine at the marina has one that I can borrow for a week. Uh, so this one is by Vitamin and it is a 400 watt solar panel. The video is not sponsored and I don't know anyone who works for the company, it just so happens to be the one that my friend had but I've been very happy with it and I'm going to purchase one myself from Amazon. With portability it comes with these large handles and it weighs about 15 kilograms. It's fairly easy to carry. If you pause the video, you'll see the specs on screen, but you can see how easy it was for me to carry it across the deck. Unfolded, for reference, I am about six foot tall and I wear a large shirt. I really just wanted to share with you the size of this panel when it has been deployed. So these are really designed to be paired with something like an all-in-one power station. This one is by Bluetti that I paid my own money for, and it's a 2000 watt version and uh, so it's worked very well i use it for my gaming laptop my barista coffee machine and my dual zone fridge freezer uh, so whether i'm car camping or on the boat that's effectively what i use i also use it at home using fixed solar panels and i also have the ability to charge it while i'm driving the car uh, so it's worked very well for me the reason I'm looking at the fold out solar panels is because when I'm on board I don't have enough solar on the boat and therefore I can't really charge this unless I'm using the mains power which I'm trying to avoid. So these fold out solar panels are really designed for you to turn up to something like a campground or for the boats if you're on an anchorage to deploy them in fair weather and you plug them in and then once you're done using them you pack them away. So although this one is rated at IP67 which means it's shower proof a lot of the manufacturers basically say do not leave them outside so they're not really weather sealed so if you're looking for a long-term solution and having fixed panels then this probably is not going to be for you if you're somebody who's portable moves around if you have like a boat and a camper van and you basically want to turn up to somewhere like a field or an anchorage deploy them then this is for you the reason why i want to get one of these is because they're significantly cheaper than having a full solar arch on the back of the boat i do want to get one and i also want to get lithium batteries for the boat but i mean that's going to be a big project and it's going to be a very expensive project as well so i think about three to four thousand pound for that two ways i want to use this on the boat is firstly for the all-in-one power station but i also want to put its own charge controlling unit for the boat to connect the solar panel to regular batteries you would need a charge controller like this one this is the one i would choose because i could use two of the fold out solar panels with this one charge controller so the solar panel itself has its own dedicated pocket for the cables and it will zip all the way around like so if you need to and that's the kind of size of the pocket itself so you could keep more than just the cables inside if you'd like to. The cable that it comes with is this one long one, which is about a meter long. And you have the one side, which are the standard MC4 cables for the solar. And then you have a mixture of other adapters on the side. Here you have the MC4 connections, which are connected to the panel and they lock in place. And the cable wraps around the handle, so it's quite thoughtful and that's the length of the cable. So that's just over a meter in length. When it comes to the connections, um, you've got the MC4 cables here and they will only go in one way, so you can't get it wrong. And they will just click in like this. I'm using the cable here that came with my Bluetti power station, uh, but just to disconnect them, um, you can press your fingers in. You can buy a little tool that does it, and then you can just pull them apart like so. Within the center part of the panel, you do have buttons to connect them into each other. Uh, my friend put some cable ties on and basically it has deformed it slightly. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how he suspended it with just the two, uh, but he just wanted to mention that. When it comes to deploying the panel, it's very easy to do. Simply just place it on the floor and fold it out. You can see I'm in absolute no hurry here and there's three kickstands that you can place out and they just simply have Velcroed on and you pull them out one at a time. It's a task that would take under a minute to do and you can see that I'm doing it by myself. With all three legs deployed, all you need to do is just unwrap the MC4 cable and plug it into your power station. Now that the solar panel is plugged in, it's actually producing between 90 to 100 watts in total. So what does that really mean? So my fridge freezer here, once it's reached temperature, to stay at temperature, it will use between 40 to 45 watts. My gaming laptop, when I'm just using, um, browsing the internet, 
uh, just regular usage will use about 100 watts when I'm actually gaming or video editing it will use 200 watts uh, my phone if I'm charging it wirelessly would do 15 watts and for my barista coffee machine that peaks at 1300 um, but you it takes about three four minutes to actually make a coffee so although you're using a large amount of power all in one go it's not a consistent draw like the fridge freezer would be so in theory today I will be able to just keep the fridge freezer charged throughout the day and nothing else because obviously when it gets darker um, we're not going to be putting in any power into the unit so my Blue Etty power station is a 2000 watt power station uh, which I've seen a maximum of 422 watts from the panel so if it stayed like that for five hours in theory it will fully charge this battery unit that I've got here. Most of the days that I've used it so far I've managed to do 1000 watts in total so that's basically five hours of gaming and nothing else but again I've been using it for the fridge freezer, the coffee machine and I've had to run the gaming laptop off the shore power because I'm not producing enough energy. For reference, while I've been using the solar panel, this is what the skies have looked like. So it's been very overcast and grey. You do need sunlight for solar panels to work and I have had shading on them. I've been using solar products for quite a few years and I am pretty impressed with the output that it has with the conditions that we have had. If you found the video helpful and informative, uh, give it a like, just lets me know if I'm doing something right. If you follow the link in the description, it will take you to that solar panel. Uh, welcome back if you're a subscriber and if you are interested in boat projects, boat tours, uh, car repair videos that type of stuff and outdoor living uh, then feel free to subscribe my next couple of videos I have lined up is reconditioning the windows on the boat so the frames are deteriorated and they're all scratched up so I'll be reconditioning them I also have a boat tour video planned as well so it really is weather dependent uh, but thanks for watching thanks for being fans thanks for sticking around and liking the video if you have welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you are new the links for any of the products that I've used in the video are in the description below but you've got the QR code at the top at no extra cost to you but thanks for watching thanks for being fans